I'm, I'm saying my righteous indignation is stirred. I am sick and tired of this. Well, tonight, members of the transgender community and even a local sheriff are condemning comments made by Florida Representative Webster Barnaby, some even calling for his expulsion. It all stems from that committee meeting just last night. That's where Representative Barnaby spoke out against the transgender community, referring to them as mutants and demons. We wanted to dig deeper into this today. So we sent in-depth reporter Stasi Almos to speak with various groups to learn how they interpreted these words. And as she found out, some fear the message could lead to violence against the transgender community. This is the planet Earth, where God created men male and women female. Florida State Rep Webster Barnaby's words in a House Commerce Committee hearing Monday are echoing across the country. It's like we have mutants living among us on planet Earth. Referring to transgender people as mutants from the X-Men movie and demons when discussing a House bill that would prevent trans men and women from using bathrooms of the opposite gender assigned at birth. That's right, I called you demons and imps who come and parade before us and pretend that you are part of this world. Shortly after, Rep Barnaby apologized for one term he used. I would like to apologize to the trans community for referring to you as demons. But the trans community and even law enforcement say these are not words he can take back. I left the state of Florida with my family and my daughter. Um, my daughter is trans because it's just not safe there anymore. Heather St. Amand moved with her 19 year old daughter from Tampa to Virginia two weeks ago because of this very bill. It's not safe sending my child into the men's room. It's not. St. Amand says even though legislators claim the bill is for safety to her and her daughter, Rep Barnaby's comments showed the opposite. There was a call to action in what he said. Any trans violence that occurs after those comments need to be attributed directly to Barnaby. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood oversees Barnaby's district and tells me he also thinks Barnaby's words may fuel violence. This hatred speech, it, it, it emboldens and infuriates these people to, to a point where they take action. And here's a man who's represented, okay, he, he's elected to represent Volusia County. And that's what he does, knowing what this community is going through. The Tampa Young Republicans president says better words could have been chosen, but they stand by Barnaby. I think that some of the language isn't exactly the language that's being used by people that are still on his side of it, but there is an agreement on the agenda being pushed. There are people who mm. are scared. Um, even the, the sheriff of Volusia County is saying that he's these words fuel hate groups and these words fuel shootings. Um, do you agree with those those statements? No, that I, I think that's a joke. I did some research on House rules and found there's no particular line in the code of conduct that refers to the way a rep speaks about others. But it does say a member shall perform at all times in a manner that promotes public confidence in the integrity and independence of the House and of the legislature. Some are calling for the rep's expulsion, but the state's commission on ethics tells me that they only refer a removal from office to the House Speaker if it includes the misuse of a position for a benefit. Even then, it would require two thirds vote from members. I'm in depth reporter Stasi Olmos, ABC Action News. And we reached out to Representative Barnaby's office several times for comment by emailing, calling, and filling out a website contact form. We also reached out to the Speaker's office, and we have not heard back.